All right, welcome in. I'm the Kodiak, but before I get into why I do or do not care about Jimmy Garoppolo to the Rams, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you are not already, and let's get right into it. We have no time to waste. So here I am talking about Jimmy Garoppolo to the Rams, and this is something that McVay has probably had his eye on for a while, and I get it because Jimmy Garoppolo has a very good record against the Rams. Sean McVay, if there is one team he has really struggled against throughout his NFL career, it has been the Kyle Shanahan Rams. They got hired the same year, and the Rams were a little bit better right out of the gate, but historically have really struggled against the Shanahan 49ers. And Garoppolo, I believe, is 7-1 and seven or 7-2 seven and two against the Rams as the starting quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. But uh, the reason I don't really care about this move at all, but also do at the same time, is, I don't know, it's kind of a mixed bag due to the fact that there's a lot of interesting dynamics happening in between this move that tells us a lot about our roster situations for, you know, uh, the Rams. So basically, I think Stetson Bennett is probably cooked. I don't really know what was going on. I don't know anything about that whole situation. But I can pretty confidently say that he's not going to be in the NFL anymore. And even if he is, he's not really going to be anything more than just a guy who could compete for a backup job. Uh, very interesting career arc after what happened at Georgia especially coming into the league as a really old rookie. But yeah, I just don't see anything happening with him. But here's why this kind of makes sense for the Rams. So I don't know how long Stafford's going to be playing for. Stafford, I thought, was kind of on borrowed time last year just due to his elbow. And I thought McVay was also on borrowed time. But it looks like his heart has settled down. It looks like he actually wants to be with the Rams again. So good for the Rams. You definitely don't want to lose a guy like McVay. But... Uh, regarding Stafford and his elbow, we don't know what's going on with that, but he looked pretty damn good last year. But here's why this matters. For a team like the Rams, for a team that is always going to be all-in, it's almost comical how all-in they are every single year. Uh, you do not want to be caught with your pants down and no backup when you are trying to compete. Because look at all the quarterbacks who got injured over the past year. You had... Season-ending injuries to guys like Herbert, to guys like Rodgers, to guys like Cousins, to guys like Burrow, to guys like Richardson, to guys like Watson, to guys like Daniel Jones. And while all those guys are not necessarily superstars, you need to have a plan in place in the event that those guys cannot go. And I don't know if we got a freak year of just stupid injury luck from the quarterback position or lack thereof, but a lot of those good quarterbacks had their seasons cut short due to injury. And here's why this makes sense for Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo is probably nothing better than just a career backup at this point. When you cannot get on the field over Aiden O'Connell, and I was at a Raiders game in week 18 when Aiden O'Connell was temporarily knocked out of the game. Uh, he got hurt. I can't remember exactly what the injury was. But Jimmy Garoppolo went in, and the crowd absolutely booed the shit out of him. So it is very clear how the NFL world and how people who follow the league feel about Jimmy Garoppolo. But there is always a market for a guy who has been through the war of an NFL Sunday. There is always a market for a guy who can be a good guy in the room, who can know the playbook, who can study, who can help mentor younger guys, and not even at, not even young quarterbacks either. So yeah, that's kind of where I stand on Jimmy Garoppolo to the Rams. It's a very interesting move because this pretty much alleviates the chance of him going to another quarterback needy team. He's not going to go to Pittsburgh. He's not going to go to Minnesota. Definitely excited about the fact for my Broncos that he's not going to be in Denver. But uh, for the cheap veteran cost that he's going to command, uh, why wouldn't you do this if you're the Rams? I mean, it just makes sense. And yeah, so that is my take on Jimmy Garoppolo to the Rams. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.